Scientists have discovered the biggest galaxy yet observed in the universe. Only one problem, no one knows why it's so massive. Spirals, ellipticals, ring galaxies and irregular galaxies are all forms of galaxies in the universe. But enormous radio galaxies are the most distant. The newly discovered radio feature from this same galaxy has been measured to stretch an incredible 16 million light years across, making it the largest galaxy yet discovered. However, its discovery has only raised more questions. What causes these galaxies to form? As time goes on, how big will this galaxy become? Are there larger galaxies out there? Keep watching to find out the answers to all these questions. NASA defines a galaxy as a huge collection of gas, dust and billions of stars and their solar systems, all held together by gravity. One such galaxy is the one we inhabit, the Milky Way. When you gaze up into the night sky, all of the stars and planets that you can see are part of our galaxy. And out of the blue, a team led by Dutch PhD student Martin Oei discovered a radio galaxy that is at least 16 million light years long. This discovery refutes some of the long-held theories concerning radio galaxies' growth that we know. Another unsolved mystery is the existence of massive radio galaxies. This huge galaxy, like many others, has a host galaxy as well as massive jets and lobes erupting from the galaxy's center. These jets and lobes are thought to be a result of an active supermassive black hole at the galaxy's nucleus, according to scientists. As a result, these vast galaxies are among the most fascinating objects we've found in space. Many galaxies have a supermassive black hole at their core, which delays the formation of new stars and thus significantly impacts the galaxy's overall life cycle. To make matters worse, black holes can generate two jet streams, each carrying the raw materials needed to produce new stars, which can send them hurtling through space at speeds approaching that of light. The stardust heats up so much that it dissolves into plasma and emits radio waves as a result of this violent process. The light was captured by an international team of researchers from Leiden, Hertfordshire, Oxford and Paris, France, using the pan-European LOFAR telescope, whose epicentre is in a marshy Dutch radio dark nature reserve, where your smartphone would definitely lose signal. Until now, scientists have never seen a structure this large created by a single galaxy. The researcher demonstrates that some galaxies have a sphere of effect that extends far beyond their immediate neighborhood. How far are we talking here? Well, that's a tough one to pin down. Astronomical images are limited in depth since they are acquired from a single perspective, Earth. Consequently, astronomers can only estimate the whole length of the radio galaxy by measuring a small portion of it. That lower bound at over 16 million light years is still massive and equivalent to a hundred Milky Ways lined up. Earth doesn't stand out in the cosmos, so finding such a massive galaxy spanning structure in our own neighborhood was never likely. There are three billion light years between Earth and the radio giant, yet it covers an area comparable to the full moon in our night sky. Yes, Despite the staggering distance, the mammoth looms as huge in the sky as the moon, a clear sign that the structure has to be a record-breaking length. But why are we just noticing? The plumes became relatively faint and the low-far telescope's radio eyes only just caught a glimpse of the monster. Then, scientists were able to see the behemoth after refining old photos in a way that made minor patterns stand out. The researchers gave the gigantic structure the name Alcyonius after the son of Uranus, the Greek primal god of the sky. Alcyonius was a legendary giant who battled Heracles and other Olympians for control of the cosmos. The Pergamon altar in Berlin, home of the world-famous sculpture of this Alcyonius, has a representation of him. 
the galaxy spans a distance of approximately 16.3 million light years from the Sun. As a point of comparison, the distance between the Milky Way, our own galaxy, is only 106,000 light years. In other words, Alcyonius is around 153.77 times the length of the Milky Way. Galaxies larger than the Milky Way are typically located in the center of an enormous galaxy cluster such as Hercules. Galaxies form and grow over the course of billions of years. On average, the most massive galaxies we see today are those nearest to us. On the other hand, most galaxies are much smaller than ours, with only a fraction of the Milky Way stars. The Milky Way stars have a physical diameter of 130,000 light years, and Andromeda, just next door to the Milky Way, is substantially larger than the Milky Way, with a diameter of about 220,000 light years, roughly double the Milky Way's. The Milky Way star disk would finish roughly where Andromeda's dust lanes appear darkest if it were overlaid on top of it. In contrast, UGC 2885, also known as Rubin's Galaxy, is the biggest spiral galaxy ever observed, and it contains approximately 10 times as many stars. The gravitational field of UGC 2885 is substantially perturbed. It is possibly the largest known spiral galaxy, with an estimated diameter of 832,000 light years, albeit its tidal arms and deformed shape are most likely temporary in cosmic timescales. However, IC 1101, located in the middle of cluster Abel 2029, has the widest stellar expanse. Abel 2029 is a massive galaxy cluster with galaxy IC 1101 in its center. By many measures, it was the largest known galaxy with a diameter of 5.5 to 6 million light years, over 100 trillion stars, and a mass of almost a quadrillion suns. It is difficult for the universe, due to its finite age and the presence of dark energy, to produce anything that is substantially larger. It dwarfs even the Milky Way, Andromeda, and other spiral galaxies, and it dwarfs even other typical gigantic ellipticals. IC 1101, on the other hand, no longer holds the throne despite its enormous size. It had no chance against Alcyonius once it had been found. Alcyonius is 230% longer when measured from end to end. Despite its enormous size, Alcyonius emits rather typical radio lobes. Radio lobes can be found all around the universe, including in our own galaxy. The most perplexing aspect of galaxies like Alcyonius is how they grow so massive. Because Alcyonius is the largest known galaxy to date, it reminds us of how little we know about the celestial universe around us. Since the discovery of Alcyonius, researchers have continued to analyze its data. It's all part of an effort to better understand the host galaxy and the formation of radio galaxies like this. The mass of the galaxy was also discovered as part of the research. According to the research, the largest known galaxy is encircled by a cosmic web with a mass 240 billion times greater than the Sun. They also estimate that the supermassive black hole at the center has a mass of 400 million times that of the Sun. Alcyonius's plumes could give information on the cosmic web's generally elusive filaments. The cosmic web is another name for the contemporary grown-up universe, which resembles a network of threads and nodes called filaments and clusters, respectively. With a few exceptions, galaxies in filaments and clusters are easily observable, but finding the medium between galaxies has only proven effective in clusters. Is it possible that Alcyonius can make a difference here? Alcyonius, like the Milky Way, lives in a filament, thus its plumes experience a headwind as they travel through the medium. As a result, the plumes execute a leisurely dance with an unseen partner, 
changing their direction and shape slowly. For many years, scientists have hypothesized that the shapes and pressures in radio galaxies' plumes are related to filament features. Still, never before have they seen an example as compelling as Alcyonius. Alcyonius's plumes are so large and rarefied that they can be easily molded by the surrounding medium. Are astronomers capable of detecting changes? And if that's the case, will those discoveries help us better understand what lies beyond the galaxies? For the cosmic web to maintain its shape, gravity is offset by the heat pressure in filaments and clusters of the medium. Over the last two millennia, it has become clear that the glowing stardust ejected by galaxies keeps the web warm. The central black holes in galaxies help to maintain our universe's large-scale structure in this way. This is especially significant given how small black holes are compared to filaments and clusters. It's as if a marble-sized object controls the Earth's temperature. To match Alcyonius and its jets, 100 Milky Way galaxies would have to be placed end-to-end. -end. There are so many minute alterations in the jets as they travel through the intergalactic medium that scientists can detect them. Astronomers anticipate that this slight movement may aid their understanding of the cosmic web's voids. For the time being, no one knows what has caused Alcyonius to grow to its record length. Researchers initially hypothesized a giant black hole at the center of the Milky Way, a dense stellar population that produced an abundance of stardust or incredibly powerful jet streams. Compared to its younger siblings, Alcyonius was found to be below average in all of these areas. The researchers will now study if radio galaxies' surroundings could explain the future growth of giants. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you're still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more mind-blowing videos about space.